Femister graft, graft, stir graft. A femister graft is a type of bone graft which uses bone tissue harvested from the patient to treat slow healing or delayed union bone fractures. Thus, it is a form of autotransplantation. Typically, the tissue used in the graft is cancellous bone harvested from the patient's iliac crest and laid in strips across the fracture site. The use of the patient's living bone stimulates osteogenesis, the growth of bones. The femister graft was first described in a paper published in 1914 by American surgeon Dallas B. Femister, and it was named for him. Its efficacy was confirmed the same year by Canadian surgeons William Galley and D. E. Robertson. In 1949, Femister described a variation on the technique where the graft tissue was inserted into the base of the greater trochanter and femoral neck in order to treat osteochrosis. A 1967 study found the original Femister graft to be more effective than the cortical sliding graft and cancellous graft for fractures of the tibia. The femister graft is preferred when a fracture demonstrates delayed union, meaning the fracture is slow to heal. Due to internal forces, the procedure is not recommended for the femur, humerus, or radius bones. It can be used for areas of bone which have undergone the first two stages of osteochrosis. For example, in young patients, or those with sickle cell disease, it can serve as an effective long-term treatment for osteochrosis, as long as it is performed in the early stages. In this instance, it is a more conservative treatment and in the long term can postpone the need for a hip replacement. In the later stages of osteochrosis 3 through 6, where the bone has begun to collapse or has fully collapsed, the femister graft is not recommended. Equals equals references equals equals equals.